All right, I wanted to show everyone the new, well, the swing space for printmaking. I'm thinking of my former printmakers um, and ones to come. Just so you know what's happening here. So as you enter the door, well, this is one of my favorite things is the checkered tile in the hallway and that was left here from the frat boys long ago. Um, the school wanted to paint the floor but I said no 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 just clean it and wax it and it'll be fine. And I've tried to hang art in here. Um, this is the main hallway and the books wouldn't fit in my office so I thought you know what I'll make a spot for people to read and just sit and chill out found this great couch at um, Restore Habitat for Humanity. A little spot here for polymer, cutting the plates. We can turn the lights off and turn the yellow light on to make that happen. And, uh, and there's the, the uh, plate burner so you can create your polymer prints. Uh, there was no, we're so far away, we're on the edge of the campus, um, and there was nothing, you know, no place to eat or drink to get something, food or whatever, so I got this fun, uh, fun water dispenser, and not only does it do cold water, but it also does hot, so if you want to have a cup of tea, Melissa, if you want to have a cup of tea, you can. Um, they made a new bathroom, it's unisex, um, which is fine. I think it'll be just fine. Uh, I framed another. I thought that was a good, good piece to have in here. Um, and this is my office, where we have the computer lab, as before, for students and the printers and the scanner. Um, and it's air conditioned. Wow, I'm not used to that. Um, this is the funnest part of all. Look out my office. And there it is, the 50-yard line. So that's why they know this building, or some people call it the building on the 50-yard line. And I'm going to really get to understand a little bit more about football this year. Um, with that behind me. Um, there's a little spot to warm up food if you need to. Um, so we'll head on over to the drawing studio um, and what I've decided to do is just to open up the whole, whole, whole area to all classes who are here, like during class, they can work on, in either room. But uh, this is actually a nice, nice space. Um, I managed to move over things from the old building. The carpenters built this terrific uh, table for the for the uh, paper cutter, and it has nice storage on it. Good place to work. Um, flat files. And there's our new skeleton. Isn't she a beauty? I have to come up with a name for her. Uh, the shelves were left behind, and I thought, oh, great place to put some of the plaster things that we draw in drawing one and drawing two. Um, there's so many windows, it's great. The light in here is terrific. Uh, but they also, we also have shades so that we can uh, darken, you know, make the room completely private when we have the model in the winter. Uh, really cool, the facilities people came up with this idea of pulling down the ceiling tiles and just painting the ceiling black and leaving the exposed beams. Terrific idea. And um, makes it feel bigger in here, makes it feel a little taller. Um, and then we come over to the printmaking studio, uh, which is cool too. I was only able to bring the litho press and the electric press with me. Um, the other two big guys were are in permanent uh, climate controlled storage. Um, but the cool thing is, I actually had the carpenters build a neat spot for litho. Oh my god, litho has never had it so good. 
So my advanced printmakers are going to really enjoy this and get a lot of um, use out of this. Um, there's the rack. Fits into that little cubby there. I'm going to put the um, audio-visual screen up above this um, homosote board where we can use this for critiques and also, you know, we need to, if I need to show images. We were able to bring the old cupboards over from the former studio, the old studio, and we kind of had to cut them and move, you know, mishmash them together. But I think it's going to be just fine. I was able to store all the things that we need. You know, just even if it just takes so many, so much space and so many items to make a print shop cruise, make it work. Um, found a spot for aprons over here in this other little alcove. And what used to be the old fraternity kitchen is now the room where we soak paper and um, there's the, the carpenters built this great um, shelf shelving unit so I could store more things there and this fun sink and I attached a hose so now we can green stones so the advanced people maybe I can show them how to do that and um, and then this is a great big uh, that was an old industrial hood left behind over their stove. Of course, they took the stove out, but left the hood, which is good. And we're not using anything too, too toxic. You know, I promised that we would keep things as environmentally friendly as possible. So, which is a good thing. Honestly, it's going to make me deal with that. Um, the cupboards, we they were on the other side of, you know, of the room, but I had to move them over this way on this side of the room. So this gives me more storage here too. And once again, if you're in here in those in the paper room, you can look out. And there it is. So if you guys are around or you come back for alumni weekend or homecoming, 